Hey everyone, welcome back around Geek here. Now many of you might be having the problem of drive getting full because you keep installing different kind of application and software on your machine. Even if you have multiple devices at your home or your office, then you have to install the same software on all of them in order to use it. But now you can get rid of all these problems easily if you have an empty and the free USB drive with you. Yes, you can run all the necessary software like Browser, Blender, Audacity, OBS Studio, VLC Media Player, Open Office, Video Editor like OpenShot, Shortcut and many other. So once you get this tool installed in your USB, you can plug into any PC and start using them and even this will be very worthy for the people who keep traveling. However, this tool is not new but as this is a very useful tool, you must give a try. So without any further delay, let's quickly get it started. All right, so bring up any of your browser and in the browser, you have to search for portable apps and hit the enter key. And on the very top, you will be getting this website, portableapps.com, portable software for USB. I will also leave the link in the description. Click on the first website here. And once the website comes up, it says set your PC free, your favorite application. Download now for free. All right, so you will have to click here and then click on download from portableapps.com and it may take a while to start downloading so wait and it's a small file so it will be quickly downloaded now click on the downloaded file here and the setup will be up now you will have to click on ok portableapp.com so click on next click on i agree now it will give you this kind of interface new install upgrade existing install or select a custom location so we have to go with the new install but before proceeding guys make sure that you have connected your usb that you want to make portable app usb so on my end you can see i have already connected a sandisk usb the size is around 28 gigabyte but if you have any pen drive of around 4 or 8 gigabyte that will also work for you all right so once you have connected choose the new install click on next all right, and now it gave you many other options like portable installed to a portable device. That exactly what we are going to do. A part of this, you can also do this on any of your Dropbox or Google Drive as well. You can do it locally or choose any custom location. All right, so keep this option selected to the top one, portable one, and then click on next. Now it will ask you that which USB you want to create this portable app USB. So I have the SanDisk one, so I will select the SanDisk. If you are not sure, then you can check the drive letter. It shows me F here. So I will bring up the file explorer and I can verify here. The drive letter is F here, so that's fine. I will keep this selected and click on next. You have selected install this USB. Yes, it's all OK. So I will click on install and the installation process will now be started. All right, so the installation has been completed now and it says on portableapp.com platform. So yes, keep this option checked and click on finish. Okay, and now you will be getting this kind of dashboard here. And on the right hand side, you will see that we got a new start menu option. I will discuss and explain you about this. But before that, let me click here on close and the portable app directory will be checking for the application. So you will have to wait until a new dashboard comes up. All right, and here we go. So now you can see we got a new dashboard here. And now it will be asking you that what all application and software you want in your portable USB. So according to the category wise, you can choose the application here, like accessibility, development. Like if I want to use the Notepad++, I will check it. Then we have the education one. So in the education, we have many other applications. So if you want anyone, like if you want any kind of typing tool then this type faster typing tutor is the best one i can also select this one then we have the games category however the games are not too good but yes there are a few games and if you want to enjoy any one of them like spider solitaire or uh, golly so you can just check them whichever you want to the list is really huge so you can go through them then we have the graphics and pictures and uh, here we get the blender so I can choose a blender here and if you need any other tool in the graphics, all the tool will be listed here like the free CAD. All the tool will be free here. You don't have to go with any paid version. Absolutely free. You can enjoy. Then we also have the ink space, a very useful tool. I will also keep this option checked. 
if you need a photo editor tool then you have the photo filter photo film strip photo daemon you can choose one whichever you want to you also get a useful tool like share x i will also keep this checked all right and then we come to the internet category and here probably you will get the browser so let's say i want to use the firefox browser i can choose that you also get the free download manager i can also choose that if you want the google chrome then you can also choose the google chrome and you will find many other uh, browsers like opera and you also get many other browser here like opera and opera gx otter browser popman you also get many useful tools like putty and if you want to do the torrenting then you get the qubit torrent so depending that what all you need you can choose the option from here only then you also get the telegram desktop so yes i want to enjoy the telegram so i will check it you torrent i can choose it then we have the music and the video and here you can choose whichever uh, tool you want like i need audacity i will keep this option selected then you have the obs studio open shot for the video editing so if you need the video editing then you can choose that in the video editing you also get the shortcut that is a very uh, popular video editor that you can enjoy for absolutely free and on the right of it you can see the category it shows you that what it is it is an audio player or the media player or the video editor so you can easily identify then you have the vlc media player i can choose that as well and so on in the office section also if you need a good alternative uh, to microsoft office you can go with apache open office or the libre office so i will choose the libre office then you also get the pdf arranger so if you need any work related to the pdf then you have some tool here that you can enjoy then you also have the security option in the security you get many tool like the blank and the secure keep password professional uh, i'm not sure about all of them that how exactly they work but you can do a research that how, what tool is it how this can help you and then you can install on your usb where crypt is a very useful tool i know that password tech probably this will be helping you in to recover your password so you can also check this and try that how exactly this work utilities you get many utilities like 7zip uh you can go with cpuz very popular tool for knowing all the detail about your computer a very useful tool you can keep this option check now this is how exactly guys you will have to choose the tool here that what exactly you need you can see the list is huge here so you have to go through uh, them one by one like geek uninstaller for removing all the application completely so just go through here you will find you can see here that there are many tools and whichever you need just go ahead and check them you also get the ventoy so i can keep that ventoy also checked why is registry cleaner well i don't recommend you to go with the registry cleaner all right now once you have selected all the application now finally you will have to click on install so now the downloading and the installation of the portable app will be started in your usb and it won't take much time so you will have to wait and this is the last step now after this once your portable usb will be ready you can connect this to any of the computer any pc or laptop and you can start using those application without installing it all right guys so finally the installation is being completed and it says portable app added now on my end to be very honest it took a long time around one and a half hour and i selected around 24 application i'm not sure what is the reason but sometimes it only take about seven to eight minute or ten minute so depending how many application you are installing depending on your machine maybe it may take some time so have some patience until the process is being completed all right so once it's been done now you will have to click on finish and this time if i bring up the file explorer and open the same disk so you can see that it only occupied around 6 gigabyte after installing the 24 application and if i bring it up you will find these kind of files over here like the document portable apps and start.exe now let's see how exactly you have to use it so on whichever device you want to use this portable application you will have to connect this pen drive this usb and after connecting you have to bring up the folder and double click on this start.exe and very soon you will find a new start menu at the right hand corner and it looks very similar to windows 7 now here only you will find all the application like i can browse according to the category wise if i go to the development i install the notepad plus so i can easily open it and if i click on it so bingo 
and you can see here the notepad plus plus is up and i can now enjoy it i can use it without installing on any of the device and so on again i can bring it up then we have the education i can use the type master that i selected graphics and pictures so i can use the ink space the photo filter share x and if i click on it so you will find here the share x application is up now and so on there are many other applications which i selected like i can use the browser without installing on my device i can use the utorrent i can use a telegram music and videos i can use the audacity obs studio open shot that is my video editor even i can use the office the libre office the word excel everything is being listed over here all right so this way guys you can easily access all these application whichever you decide to install now in future if you change your mind if you want to add some more application then here only in the start menu on the right hand side you will find the app section click on it then it says check for update so you can click on it and if there is any update available it will automatically update it or it will let you know get more apps and if you click on it it will ask you that you want to search by the category by title new releases or recently updated all right so whichever category you want to browse you can click on it and the portable app directory will now be loading up so just wait so here we go now you can add any other application that you want to add in the portable usb then on the right hand side of the start menu you get many other options that you can check you can even store any kind of document so this can be really a gem for you guys if you want to use multiple application or any kind of document without installing them on any of the devices i would recommend you to create this usb right now and make your work much easier without taking the space of your drive without taking the space of any other computer and that's all guys for today hopefully you enjoyed the video found this tool useful if yes let me know in the comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye